Double bars. Please. 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 I'm begging you. Just don't close me down. All I need is another five days to get the money from my emergency bank account. But, but, but... Man, if I don't pay them in 48 hours, they're gonna put Rude Boy out of business. Why don't you just tell him you left the letter on the bus? Danny, you big flower arrangement. They'll never believe that. Should have told him your dog ate it. Come on, guys. This is the tax man and a bill for 75 grand. Not Mr. Upson and our maths homework. Phew, I'm glad I'm not in your trainers, Todd. Oh, if I could just finish the music for my new Play X game, that money should just about cover it. Man, I leave you two in charge of my mouth and see what happens. That weren't all we were doing. Or do you think it's changing rooms who did this urban chic? And besides, Todd, we did think a bill for 75 grand might spoil the romantic mood. I mean, it'd taken you and Alex so long to get together and... <laughs> I can't believe it's our anniversary. Already? Hmm. Well, aren't you just the girl we want to slap? <laughs> Risha, it's another text from Missy. She's still liking LA. <sighs> like a dog likes a lamppost. <laughs> Where the hot boys hotter? Pity I'm gonna have to get out of this nice cool pot of my film audition. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't been so happy since I caught my hair extensions in the food blender. <laughs> Man, we need more staff. Why? It's easier to find meat in your burgers than customers round here? Yeah. Not for the customers, for me. I've got no one to talk to since Missy left. Oh, thanks! So what do you think I should get Taj to mark our anniversary? OK, gold is 50 years, silver is 25. And what do you get after two months? <laughs> Bubble wrap? <laughs> you know, Michael, you and your dad have got a lot to live up to, taking over a successful business like this. Right, well, uh, I found this in the till, keeping the button and cobweb campaign. It's natural, I think. Well, who's Michael? I wasn't born to sell music. Yeah, somehow I guessed you weren't a natural. <laughs> nah, I was born to make music. So if you're looking for a star to rename your shop after, look no further. Where? Where are you? Right now, I'm waiting on the offer of a recording contract, concert tour, the works. I blew the judges away in my heat of the search for a band competition. Wow. But the thing is, I don't think a boy band would be right for an individual talent like mine. I'm going to turn them down. I got it! I got it! I got it! Search for a band! They want me! They want me! But you're gonna turn it down, right? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> All those capital letters. Someone should tell them they're coming across just a little bit pushy. Yeah, I know. And, uh, thanks for whatever it is that's hidden in all this bubble wrap. But, uh, as you can see, I really need to finish my Play X soundtrack. And? What do you want me to do? Go home? <laughs> we can help you organise. Oh, and great at organising. We can even make it fun. Uh, Alex. How do you make a 75 grand debt fun? OK. Well, show me what you've got done so far. All right. This is the funky title music, which will also be available as a ringtone. Well, it definitely reminds me of a ringtone. My Auntie Maureen's doorbell. <laughs> Alex. OK, keep working. But you definitely need all the help you can get. <laughs> Rupa owns 50% of the chill, right? So all it needs is a little shake-up and the cash will come rolling in. If you don't want my help, you put Danny and Seymour on the case. No way. Who do you think got me into this mess? <laughs> come on. It's not like the Chill's got any customers to lose. Yeah, I guess they couldn't do any more damage. But don't let them start thinking it's permanent and they're official junior partners or anything. Now, if you don't mind... Oh, I need to panic! Remember, starting secondary school can be a bit upsetting, even scary. Don't worry, Mum. You'll be all right. Do you think so? Missy's left home and, before you know it, Taj will be starting sixth form college and... 
You were starting to grow up. Pay attention, Mum. I've grown. How come everybody else can move on except for me? Maybe I should leave home. Maybe I should go back to school. Mum, I've got to go. My new public will be getting impatient. <laughs> Look. All we... I mean, you've got to do is work out how the chill can start making more money. And it can't be that difficult. And you're sure that Taj wanted us to do it? Of course he wants you to do it. He even wants to make you junior associate. Associates? Wow, does that mean we like get code names and badges and special equipment? Danny, this is not the men in black. <laughs> Look, can we get back to what you've actually got to do? All in good time, Alex. But first, we'll need to discuss a few details. A few figures. Like what? Well, as junior associates, we've got to be on at least 2% of Rude Boy's profits. See, don't you just want to help Taj? Of course we do. That's why we're willing to bargain down to one and a half percent and a smaller name badge. Excuse me. Has anyone seen my big brother? That's better. Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Michael Carter. Taj Lewis. What is that? It sounded a bit like a doorbell. It's the title music for a new game. I saw a preview. Right, um, well, if you want to hear some real tunes, just head down to Hip City. Me and my dad have just taken it over from Ricardo and his dad. We're hoping to turn it into the number one music business around here. Hi. Hi. He seems cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm the number one music business around here. <laughs> <laughs> Courage, sha, sha, sha. I need to ask you some more questions. Danny, I'm not going out with you. Ever. OK? So you can stop pretending you're interested in how the chill works. And what if I was an associate in one of the coolest and most successful businesses around? Then you'd go at me. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Standard of service. A. <laughs> Minus. Well, I thought I'd see what you've come up with so far. Why don't the chill charge £385 a burger? <laughs> then they'd only need to sell one a week. <sighs> Sorry, it's rush, rush found here today. <laughs> No, our company isn't here. Mm-hmm. Baz? Yeah, I'll pass on a message. Mm-hmm. Just like I passed on all the others. <laughs> so, how did the first day go? Uh, wicked. OK, I was a bit embarrassed in the class coming out the gates on their shoulders, but you know what it's like. I can imagine. Well, I think the least this school hero deserves is his favourite. Spaghetti with my special tomato sauce. <laughs> And can I have some fries with that? <laughs> and then maybe some chocolate cake? Hold on. I got a text from Missy. Hello, M. Need spawns 500 guz at odd. Hello, <laughs> Mum. Running out of money. Please send more. Had to move into a cheap hotel. 500 other girls to audition. That bitch will be coming back then. Hold on. Another text. But the director thinks I've got a future. <laughs> so beans on toast then. <laughs> Complimentary free fries for the first 200 customers. Loyalty cards. Service targets. And Danny and Seymour came up with these ideas all on their own. Yeah. But they're good. Hey, maybe they could write the music for level eight. Entering the Skull Crusher's deep, dark, terrifying dungeon. Look, they just about managed to spell complimentary. What do you want? Blood. <laughs> and that is Mamu. And that was a picture of me and my dad with Craig David. So what are your band called? 2020. 
<laughs> because you've got a clear creative vision. Nah, see, there's 40 of us. We make so solid crew look like knobby no mates. <laughs> right, which one are you going to be? Which one? What? Well, in every boy band, you've got the cute, shy one. The uh, hot dancer who can't stop smiling when he's busting those moves. You've got to have an identity, man. I've got an identity. I'm... I'm Ricardo. And that, believe me, is usually more than enough. But, uh, trust me on this, my dad is a record producer. Well, so... Which one do you think I should be, then? Well, if I was at the back of a mob like that, I'd make sure I was the tall one. <laughs> Mr Taxman, sir, I've been up all night working on it. I just can't go any faster. Don't worry, Tom. He'll never find you here. And even if he does, Rude Boy's profits from the chill would have made you enough dosh to pay off your tax. Shh! Danny! Tell the world, why don't you? <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. The taxman will never know where the chill is. Sometimes even I forget. That's two cheeseburgers with three fries and... Ow! There's your light, you stamp. 42.5 seconds. Your average time per customer is now 2.5 seconds behind the new Rude Boy schedule. Well, you can tell Rude Boy, if he wants the service any quicker, he's going to either have to buy me a moped or fire the food from the cannon. <laughs> Look, can't we need more staff? Uh -huh. This ain't a holiday camp, young lady. Excuse me, Gov. Hey, where you going with that? I'll have that off you. Do you think if Chris had found out we would be on the changes round here, it'd affect my chances with her? <laughs> well, that depends. Whether you mean your imaginary chances or your non-existent chances. <laughs> Wait, that's my new chair. Surely there's other ways we can save money around here. I mean, do we really need Carisha? Oi! Hello, boys. I'm Derek. This is Sydney from the tax office. So what's your name? We're not telling you. Right, Seymour. Danny! <laughs> Now then, uh, Danny and Seymour, you look like just a sort of smart, intelligent young fellows who might be mates of Rude Boy. Now that is where you are wrong. I'm not a mate of Rude Boy's, all right. I'm an an, an idiot. <laughs> he's, he's always saying that. Come on, Danny, I'll show you that mass homework you wanted to see. <laughs> I hate mass. <laughs> it's all right, fellas. We'll be in touch. <laughs> what I told Taj the tax people are closing in. So, uh, Rude Boy owns this place? <clears throat> Excuse me, only 50%, I own the other half. <laughs> well, when you see him, tell him the tax office is like a word. Tax office? Oh! I'm out of here! Come on, when you find him, give him this. Cow! From me. Ooh, cunning, eh? Very cunning. <laughs> They're obviously all highly trained Rude Boy operatives. Right, so here's the plan. You track down the owner of this place, while I, using all my surveillance skills, tail little Miss Apron. Now, she can't be for real. And you were definitely wearing your own blazer before, Jim? Yeah, but the steam from the showers, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> this came for you. Oh, my college stuff. College? Did I say college? What I meant to say was collage. You know, the sticky stuff. They're onto me. Right, I need to avoid those bailiffs until I've paid the bill. Otherwise, they'll take all my root boy gear. And then I definitely won't be able to make the money. Don't sweat it, Taj. Yeah, now you've made us associates. associates. They've got to deal with me and see. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I made you what? <laughs> Rude boy has really lost it this time. Get on with it! All right, chef, don't get your noodles in a twist. I'll pick up the order as soon as I figure out how to turn around. <laughs> well, that's what I call a warm welcome. Hi, I'm Michael, the uh... walking crash mat. And I, <laughs> Ricky, the cheeky one, into football, and I'm in a boy band. Hmm, let's club you. Below the minimum IQ requirement. <laughs> no, we're called 20, 20. Well, 50, 50, that this is Baz or Missy. Film director asked me around for dinner, impressed with my previous experience. Mm, sounds wicked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over the moon. 
Here, Carisha. Did I mention Michael's dad's a record producer? Oh, what did he just say? <laughs> What's wrong about that waitress? She is for real. That Carlton bloke's done a runner. And we're not closer to finding Rude Boy. Are we? Taj, Danny made those badges himself. And technically, in corporate law, a junior associate's nothing like a junior partner. So, how much money did you offer them? Money? I didn't offer them money. Oh, right. Hang on, I've got a text. From Danny and Seymour. Rude boy. Lost my mobile, but bailiff's called off. You've got another month to sort the money. Meet us at the chill, we'll explain all. Oh, yes! See, they've more than earned their one and a half percent. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Taj, I'm losing you. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling and looking for my train. <laughs> You're happy. I remember happy. Great. Uh, tell Mum I'm just going to be down to chill. Later, bro. <sighs> Omar, is there something wrong? Wow, your detective training is really paying off. <laughs> School. I didn't think it would be so confusing and so big. So why didn't you say something? I needed to be strong for Mum. She's thinking of leaving home and going to school, and I thought I was confused. <laughs> Whatever you're going through, I've been there. Between you and me, I once told Mum I wanted to stay in Year 6 for the rest of my life. What a wuss. I know, but look at me now. Still a wuss. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. The trouble was, it took me so long to put my way to the front of the van, I ended up knocking three of them off stage. <laughs> so it was a disaster. Now, my manager thinks that no other boy band's got an angry one. I could be a big hit. Sort of thing. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm planning on celebrating myself as well. Once I take over the number one business around here. Shop, website, public appearances. And upstairs is going to be a music venue. Hannah, I've got the perfect name for all of it. <laughs> That's really going to get up someone's nose. <laughs> so one of Rude Boy's really, really dumb associates must have come up with the whole rollerblade idea. Oh, I don't know, but this is it for me. I'm leaving as soon as I get another job. What was that? Oh, just chef tossing the salad. <laughs> Through the window. He's had enough as well. So, you definitely haven't seen... You get a text message from Danny and Seymour, did you? <laughs> From Danny and Seymour. Tex, me. Uh, no, I don't even have a mobile. He definitely fits our profile for Rude Boy, doesn't he? He's young, cool, coolish, cool. I come on, I'll wear a vest. Yeah, even when I'm swimming. What's too much worrying about? As long as he stays at home, he ain't gonna bump into them geezers, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Danny, we've got to do something. You don't mind if we ask you some questions, do you? Sorry, <laughs> Do you know what he said about me? That old bloke he said your nails have got more chips in them than a burger van. He said what? <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> Good job. Okay, this is the last of all my rude boy gear. All we gotta do, get it down to Danny's dad's garage and see how I can pay the bill. Oh, thanks, Todd. It would take him ages to find out where you live. They were sneaky, them, pretending to be us and faking the text. Yep, but we was just too smart for him. <laughs> There's no one in! Hi, no one else in the door? It's okay, we're on official business. All right, Dee. We'd just like to have a word with your parents. OK. My big brother's downstairs. Is he now? <laughs> Look, we're closed. Permanently. Yeah, but, Carisha, it's me. 
Why are you closing? No manager, no chef, and now, no waitress. Have you seen Taj? He left, followed by those bailiffs. That's funny. I thought they were after rude, but... Hello, boys. We meet again. I feel like I'm in a bomb movie. You two know each other? Oh, sure. Everybody knows Rude Boy. Yeah, but what's Rude Boy got to do with... You think Taj is Rude Boy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Sasha and Eminem. <laughs> Excuse me. It's our sister. She's in Hollywood. She thinks she's going to take over from Jada in a film. I've already told you, I'm not rude, boy. We'll just have to wait till your mum gets home. <laughs> you mean rude mum? And we'll get permission to have a look around. Your rude boy equipment must be here somewhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. But a call to rude boy. Ah, oh, now that'll nail you. Taj, I just thought I'd warn you that... Yes? That I've got rude boy for you. And he's not happy. You've got rude boy? Yes. Taj Lewis, this is rude boy. But if you're... And he... <laughs> but this is rude boy. So you're still trying to impersonate me? Look, if this doesn't stop, my lawyers are going to... <laughs> Ooh, that's painful. Cool ID we've held. And goodbye. Oh, I think I, um, <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, Sydney, uh, you explain. <clears throat> Sydney, say something. You big tea strainer. <laughs> Good cheese! So you the chills reopened and you paid off your tax bill. And none of that can pack without Danny and Seymour's help. Yeah, that's why I've made them. Official junior partners. At one and a half percent? At one percent. You keep them keen. <laughs> and this is for you. Thanks for your input. What is it? Bubble wrap. And <laughs> some serious bling. Mm, thank you. <laughs> so, what are we celebrating? Well... I got to thinking, if Missy can make a new life for herself in L.A., so can I. I'm, uh, going back to school. <laughs> I've got a place at college on a nurse practitioner's course. I think the first term's learning how to spell that. Congratulations, Mum. Oh, congratulate me too. Cotton finally got another waitress. She's been meaning for days to work here. <laughs> she must be desperate. And fancy being called Baz. <clears throat> Actually, it's Jazz. Me. Hello. <laughs> Find out what happens tomorrow in Kaching, the new series that's at five.